To balance this equation, cesium plus water yields cesium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Let's add the atoms up. We have cesium, forgot to write it there. We have one of those. Hydrogen, we have two. Oxygen, we have one. Over on the product side, we have one of these atoms here. We have one hydrogen plus, be careful, this is a two here. We have one plus the two. That equals three. People often forget to add all the hydrogens up and that causes problems. And then we got one oxygen. When I look at this, I see I have a three here and a two here. Everything else is the same. If I could get this to be an even number, then I could probably fix this pretty easily. If I put a two as my coefficient in front of the CSOH, that looks like that would solve the problem. So let's, let's update our atoms because this two, it applies to everything here. So for the hydrogens, I have one times the two, two hydrogens plus these two here. So now I have a total of four hydrogens and I wanted an even number. Um, oxygens, one times two, that'll equal two. And then cesium one times two, that equals two as well. Over here on the reactant side, it looks like if I put a two in front of the water, now I'll have two times two, that gives me four. So now I've balanced the hydrogens. Uh, oxygen's one times two, and what well, we've balanced the hydrogens as well, and we're left with the cesium. So we have two here and one here. Why don't we just put a two right in front, because one times two, that equals two, and we are done. We've balanced this equation. That's the balanced equation for CS plus H2O yields CSOH plus H2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.